Here are the 13 new updates in Flutterflow. We've got a brand new custom code editor bringing the same VS Code experience into Flutterflow. This includes semantic auto-completion, error highlighting, refactoring assistance, documentation on hover, PubSpec dependency awareness, and automatic updating of parameters when you change a custom widget or action parameter. You can now display barcodes and QR codes in 20 different types. Now, you can update multiple local state variables in one action. We've added a hide snack bar action. Text fields now support masks and filters, so you can, for instance, enforce a phone number format or only allow numbers for credit cards. Containers now support implicit animations for height, width, and color. Just set the height, width, or color to a variable, and whenever the variable changes, the property will automatically animate, and you don't have to manually create animations for it. API calls now support JSON variable types that give you a greater control over complex API calls. Want to see padding in the editor? Now you can. You can just gaze at glorious padding all day. You can now dynamically bind form elements like radios and dropdowns. Container width and height properties are now bindable. So finally, you can bind your container width and height properties to the temperatures where you live. We now update your SSL certificates automatically in the background so you don't have to handle it. You're now allowed to disallow users to pick future dates in the date time picker action. For instance, you would want to do this for picking birthdays because users are not typically born in the future. And lastly, does this stupid icon ever get in your stupid way and you're just trying to set infinite height on a container but you end up getting lost in the drama of Flutterflow docs? Then just turn it off.